All right, I wanted to do a little project here and I chose a, an LM399 as the project. So this is a little precision reference. It has a heating element in it, so it's thermally stable and it's pretty precise. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, data sheet here. This is what's inside. There's this equivalent Zener diode. There's actually more in there than just this. It's it's an IC and it's got a whole bunch of fancy circuitry and everything, but it basically looks like a Zener diode and a heating element. Um, but I've showed this before. I opened one up. See if I can remember to, to link it down below. I opened one up and you can see the die inside. So anyway, I'm gonna use this. The circuit I'm interested in is in every single LM399 data sheets. It's this circuit here, which is the 10 volt buffered reference. So this thing is at a weird voltage, it's at 6.95. And um, so you put a little bit of gain around this thing and you get 10 volts out, all right? Uh, so here's somebody's uh, board that they did that has the uh, 10 volt reference. Um, kind of an ugly schematic, but it's basically the same thing. It's got the uh, op amp and a little bit of gain around it to give you the 10 volts. Um, I found a better circuit, I think. Uh, I found this circuit, I think, in an application note, or I don't remember exactly where I found it, but um, you can see that it's got a trimmer in it, um, and it allows you to set that that 10 volts real accurately. It also is very good about telling you where you should have the uh, uh, star grounds and star references so that you don't have any voltage drops in any of the traces when you lay out the board. So this is the circuit that I'm going to clone. Um, so this is what I started with. So if you're interested, there is a kind of the holy grail reference, which is the LTZ-1000. And this is a board that somebody did, I guess at analog, analog Devices. This is a reference board that you can buy. This thing costs more than $500, so <laughs> you ain't going to run out and get one real quick. But um, again, it has a... Um, uh, an element that's the reference, and then it has an op amp to get it up to 10 volts. Um, I don't know what the other part of the circuit is. I haven't looked at the circuit here, but um, that's that's the fancy big brother if you ever want to get one of these things. Uh, it's Atomaya, Atomaya ballpark. All right, so here's my schematic. Um, so we'll go through it here. On the uh, left, we have uh, 15 volts coming into a 12 volt regulator. So now we have a clean 12 volts. That'll be used to heat up the element and to run the rest of the circuit, like the op amp. Um, we have the trimmer circuit. I've changed it a little bit. I put a capacitor on the uh, top side and on the bottom side um, to uh, make the tuning of the resistor a little bit finer. I, did, I covered that once in a video. This makes it a little bit easier to tune. Instead of just putting in uh, the potentiometer and only using the little middle of it, this way you get to use the whole the whole breadth of it. So it's a little bit a little bit better. All right. Um, yeah. So let's get a PC board laid out. So here's my board. I had this cool little cutout section over here, uh, just like that that five hundred dollar board. <laughs> it, it eliminates um, any thermal um, coming in to the if the board heats up. You have these small little thermal paths. Uh, maybe it's better here if I give you a 3D view first, and we'll come back to this one. Um, so you can see that there's 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 a a big hole here, and then a little spider web that holds that holds that part on there, and so it just keeps it thermally isolated from the rest of the board. Um, and then we have our regulator, our op amp. So there, that's just about all there is to do. Uh, you have an input at here and an output at the top. I put some little asterisks on the board which tell you where the uh, star grounds are. So this is the star ground. This is where I say ground is perfect here. And then where is the voltage perfect? It's this via right here. But the only thing from the output to that via is a trace. So again, it should be fine. Um, so the, the, the output should be uh, star connected to the rest of the board. 
All right, and here's my layout. So I did not want to do a copper pour because I wanted to control voltage drops in the traces and stuff. I wanted to make sure the star ground was where I wanted it to be. So no copper pour on this one. Oh, all right, there you go. Cute little board. Uh, we'll send it out to uh, to get made and to give it a try.